Hi, I'm Sanjeev. I am the co-founder and CEO at PropAll. I know it's been a very long day. Luckily, we have a very simple product, and I just have three slides, right? So, Excellent. what? That was a good pitch. So, it's what we essentially do okay. is we convert complex 2D floor plans into interactive 3D walkthroughs on any device in seconds, right? That's essentially what we do. So, this is the team. Uh, my co-founder Aniket handles technology for us. He is from one of the best universities for AI research in the world. NTU in Singapore. He himself is an MS in artificial intelligence. Anirudh handles operations for us. He's been handling operations from his college days. Uh, he's also from IM Calcutta. And I'm uh, Sanjeev. I used to head strategy at a Birmingham-based micro-mobility tech company before, uh, which got acquired by TVS, post which we started PropAll. Right, so what we do is, we, like, like I said, we convert these kind of 2D floor plans into interactive walkthroughs. And I think all of us have sort of experienced this where you spoke about customer experience, right? Just showing a 2D floor plan isn't sufficient for the customer. Or building more model houses also isn't possible for a real estate developer because it takes physical real estate, right? So, and every buyer wants to experience the exact house that they would want to buy, right? And they would want to move in, inside the house with complete freedom, understand every nook and corner because it's just not one person's decision, it's an entire family's decision. And it's a decision that a person would make once or twice in their entire lifetime. So that it needs to be as uh, personalized as possible. And that's why we allow them to convert any floor plan that they have into interactive walkthroughs. Right? They can either use it to visualize it, or they can either use it to customize it. For example, you want to change materials, textures, finishes, remove and add furniture. Right? Personalize your house, basically. You can do all of it on any device in seconds, essentially. Right? So what we've built is the easiest and fastest tool to not only interact, but also configure your real estate. Whether you want to give that configurability to the end user or not is the decision of the developer or the architecture company, right? Because that some, sometimes you have a very set uh, unit that you want to sell with set amount of uh, layouts and set amount of furniture and materials that you'd want to provide. You'd not want to provide any sort of customization to any home buyer, essentially. You'd want to just show them how the space looks like and feels like. And that we allow that sort of functionality to uh, the developer or the architecture company. So what we essentially want to do is dramatically improve the customer experience where they don't have to essentially visit the site to understand the house that they're buying. They can sit anywhere in the world, understand the exact house that they're interested in and make the purchase decision then and there. Right? If you want to help them upgrade the house, we also allow you to backward integrate any kind of materials. For example, you offer two kinds of uh, flooring textures or two kinds of flooring finishes, right? We allow them or you can allow the user or the home buyer to change between the flooring and understand what looks better, what, what fits my taste and then move, make a purchase addition based on that. So if this was uh, a GIF, we could have understood, but considering this a PDF, we can't really see most of it. But uh, what we allow is for you to move around the furniture as well. So you want to visualize the house without any furniture in it. You just want to see the house bare, uh, as a bare shell, right? You, we allow you to do that. You can remove everything from the house, just see a bare shell. Or you want to put in the furniture that you want. You want an IKEA-themed, minimalist-themed house. You can just type in IKEA-themed house. We give you all the furniture catalogs. Just drag and drop, build the house the way you want in the set floor plans that the developer offers you, right? Uh, so... All of this happens on the browser, so which means you can access it on your phone, on your VR headset, on your uh, any device which has a browser essentially. So everything is rendered on the browser, so it happens on the go, and everything ha happens on the fly, right? So and it also integrates with any other software. For example, you as a developer uh, haven't finalized the floor plans yet; you just have CAD plans or SketchUp plans that your architect has given you, right? You can directly import all of that into our software and visualize the space, and then maybe finalize on your plans. Right, which is much before you give it to the customers. So this is essentially what we do, and I'd love to answer any questions that anyone of you might have. What's your unique proposition? Because there are many solutions like these available. Right, so what our unique solution is that we allow you to configure our, so one is with respect to directly converting your floor plan into something interactive which has complete freedom of movement inside the space, right? And all of this happens on any device. You, have just, you just have a mobile phone, you don't have uh, desktop or hardware, physical, heavy hardware, right? You can import your floor plan on a mobile into our system or into our software, convert it into something that's interactive, move around the space and configure the space, everything in real time on the go. And just not technological 
uh, USPs, but also we've also tied that with a business USP where we charge you per square foot. If you just want to showcase 100 square foot, or just want to build 100 square foot, right? We just bill you for 100 square foot. We don't charge you one year's worth of license and all of those things. You, uh, two, two things I want clarifications. One is 2D to 3D in matter of seconds. That's one of the right. things that you used. Second is photorealistic images, right. right? Help me understand both of them together. Because like she said, there, and I understand that there are tools, many tools which do that, but yeah. they take a hell lot of time to Correct. achieve the results that you are promising Correct. in seconds. Right. So can you help me understand that better? Yeah, absolutely. How clear is the image? Is it an ultra high definition image? What are we talking about here? Yeah. yeah. So, so essentially, uh, Adding light, so you would understand, so you know rendering, right? Rendering takes a lot of, that's I most understand amount some of. bit of it. He understands more of it. Yeah, of course, <laughs> right? Uh, so rendering takes a lot of time. That's what uh, most of the time gets consumed in. And photorealism comes from adding light to the uh, scene itself, right? So these are things that we allow, that's the configurability which allows you, right? So we have two models. One is for the architect. Architects usually want to uh, change everything. They want to customize it as per their designs, right? They can change the lighting. They can change the material texture. So getting from 2D to 3D is not as difficult, but rendering post 2D to 3D is what takes most amount of time, right? That's where we come in, where you, we allow that functionality for you. As a developer, you would want set lighting text, set lighting for the entire space. You also want to have uh, photorealism, which comes from lighting essentially. So uh, because it happens on the, on the uh, cloud and on the browser, right? It doesn't need consume your hardware. Right. So let's right. cut it short. So basically, isometric it can be achieved in seconds. Yes. Photorealism cannot be achieved in seconds. It takes a few minutes. It yes. takes a few minutes. Okay. Even that is a huge improvement because my experience is that it takes hours. Altogether. Right. So, so before what do you say, Vivek? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I think isometric is solvable as you have done it, right? But the quality of floor plans that we have yeah. uh, in India, I think. Doing a OCR reading on that itself is very tough, right? There are dimensions in different yeah. units. Uh, even the floor plans are not up to scale. So those are the challenges, but I think good effort. Okay, can you quickly answer that? What's your seconds? revenue? Uh, sorry, are you pre-revenue or you? No, no, we, we are at 8 lakh MRR. We've just onboarded Amazon as a customer to build their warehousing units and inventory units across the country. So with a lot of VR, uh, VR solutions available, like, you know, uh, Unreal Engines available, you know, how you, you are solving the problem with so the even we use Unity in our stack, how you move around inside the space is through a game engine. So we so build there is a lot of traversing uh, uh, applications available, no? Absolutely. So uh, you need some sort of game engine in order to move around inside the yeah. space with complete freedom. Yes. We also use Unity as a game engine. Unreal Engine is an alternative yeah. to Unity. Okay. So so that is just one part of it. You got to build the entire stack that can go from 2D floor plan to a 3D interactive walkthrough and to, in fact, even a customizable one or configurable and post that. Unity is just one bit which allows you to move inside the space. In the world of digital twins, you know, people have yeah. gone long. Don't get disheartened. Uh, I think you are definitely solving some problems which uh, have not been focused upon. Uh, but yes, the world is, I'm sure you will have your own journey and a destination where you want to reach all the Absolutely. best.